Today we're opening a random $1,000 mystery box. Maybe, we'll see how much it's worth, actually. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and today we have this random mystery box that was sent to me by a viewer. He said, I wanna make you a mystery box. He's like, how much do you want it to be worth? I was like, $1,000, I think I said $1,000 or something like that. I think it ended up being more like $500 though. We're gonna find out when we see. He told me nothing that will be inside. So I have no idea what's inside, but first we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Call of the Haunt and all you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know what you think about this mystery box. Is it worth the... I haven't even paid for it. He said, just pay me what you think it's worth. So tell me how much I should pay for it, I guess. Our first item is a maximum gold. Very, very cool. Maximum gold. All right, looking nice, looking nice. Maximum gold mini box. Is that what these are called? I can't remember. I don't really know what you call these things because like they're in the mini box or they're in the display boxes, maybe. It's always hard to figure out what exactly to call all the different boxes because there's a million different boxes in the new product. Oh yeah, and then of course they put a little sticker there. So it's really hard to open these. You got to use your knife a lot. Four Four packs inside of maximum gold. Let's see what we can pull. What do we want to get? Access code is still really great. That's probably the best card. Harvey's Feather Duster, another great card. Synchron Carrier, Shared Ride, and a Super Polymerization. Both really good cards with a Hey Trunade. So a couple of strong spell cards to start it off. I'm liking this mystery box so far. Thanks to that. Let's go Dark World. The Monarchs, totally awesome. Didn't this card get like banned? Well, this card might be worth something now because of like splites, I think, or whatever's coming out. Dark Rebellion and Opelousa, both the goddess this card is no longer that good it's just the current meta it's not great in but colt wing and a storming mirror for still worth a couple bucks though. i think that totally awesome is probably worth something now because they're anticipating it being worth something it did get banned in the ocg though so that might happen in the tcg who knows there's a stratos number 15 we've got a fire formation and a zodiac chaka nine all right preparation of rights very cool and then the final pack from this mini box let's see what else will be inside dark lord contact we got the uh, barrier statue, layer of darkness, infinite impermanence. All right. And a miscellaneous source. There's those dinos, baby. Too bad. It's only at one right now. My control and Caligo. It would be a lot better. Miss was at three. Next, there's a uh, My Hero Academia collectible card game. I didn't know there was a card game for this show. I have seen most of it. I haven't seen all of it, but this will be kind of fun to open. I'm actually kind of excited for this. Let's see. I mean, uh, we want to get an All Might card, I think, is definitely the goal here. Let me know. If you guys seen this show, what would you want to see out of these packs? Uh, Hardened Frenzy. Cool. Other foils. Precise Control. Gotcha. Got the Electric Jolt. Got the Resistance. Dark Shadow Talon. We got the uh, Inro Kirishima. Missouri Smash. Oh, there he is. The Goat. Charged up. Meteor Smash. Okay, there's our foil. Meteor Smash. I don't remember this girl's name, to be honest, even though she's like a main character, but pretty nice. I mean, it's a shiny looking pull. These remind me of, uh, of like Dragon Ball Z cards. Okay, that was cool. Oh, look. To Ruxin, aka the goat. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for always responding on Instagram. Inside is a random mystery box. Hope you enjoy. You and the viewers enjoy. Please shout out my eight year old son, Blake. Wait, it says Blake, right? Yeah, Blake. He will be very excited. Blake, shout out to you. Hope you enjoy this video. Your dad sent in the epic mystery box. So let's see. What? Is this like just random cards that we get? What, what is this? He didn't like label them. Right? I mean, the label was the note. So <laughs> let's see. All right. We have blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes. There's the blue eyes we were trying to pull. We got an Exodia randomly in there. Vision with eyes of blue, ultimate fusion and vision. So a lot of blue eyes cards there. So I guess those are just like some singles you get with the mystery box. I guess they weren't labeled or anything. All right. Oh, check it out. Our favorite item, mystery gems. You know how we should treat this? We should open it like this. It deserves this. Mystery gems deserves to be ripped. Let's see what will be inside. Well, imagine there's like the Dark Magician girl in here. A Wing Dragon of Raw. Okay. It wasn't an obelisk. That's a plus. All right. I'm just going to advise anyone watching. Do not buy mystery gems. Yeah, just avoid them. I opened so many of these and so far they've all been really bad. Let's see. Oh, a slide for the Sky Dragon. Are we going to get all three? I mean, we already... I had like 50 obelisks, even though that was a giveaway, but that was pretty insane. Next up, a ghost from the past, original blister, not blister, box, mini box. We are the same situation as the gold series. I don't know, whatever these things are called. We could pull the Dark Magician, the original ghost rare Dark Magician, the first one and only one so far to ever be printed. Only three packs in these. Let's see, at least they actually held the packs in these. Like in the new ones, it was just there just rattling around all over the place. But wait. 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Ojama Country. We got the Modolce Fresh to start. Mass Change 2. Very cool. Dark Requiem. Meteor Black Common Dragon. All right, all right. I was double checking. We're making sure we're recording. Always have to double and triple check that because I forgot to check earlier and I was like, oh no, did we forget? But we didn't. Metaphor Silver. You guys have seen the video. Sunsea Shadow. Dragonity Draft. Hieratic Dragon. 
Starry Night Sky. Okay, okay. See, so you have Dark Magician and a Dark Magician pack. It's gonna happen, guys. It's gonna happen. Just make it happen. I'm down. I will never get tired of pulling Ghost Rider Dark Magician. Photon Thrasher. Metaphors Mathery Lilium. Metaphors Combination. Dragoonity A Rebair. All right. Nothing in Ghost from the Past. That's okay. More stuff to come. Ooh, here it is. I really love these sleeves. These sleeves have been awesome. I, that's why I really like this mystery box. The packs aren't that great, but the sleeves are just very clutch. So we got a couple of these. It seems like this mystery box consists of a lot of mystery products, which is interesting. We have bum bum pack invasion of chaos. Okay, that's sick. Wait, is this the first? Whoa, this is a different one. This is the first time I've ever gotten a legacy pack that didn't have the special edition in it. This one had a Judgment of the Light, one of our favorite sets, thanks to the Chicolate. So let's see if we can pull that. More sleeves. I love these. Let's go, Umbral Horror. The uh, Swartz Child Limit Dragon, Star Seraph. Can we get the Star Eater? Can we get the Chicolates? Let's go. Archfiend Palabrinth and Virginia Wolf. Okay, nothing there. Will it be in? No. No chicolates. No, so close. But don't worry. Invasion of Chaos will provide us with something amazing. Will it be the Chaos Emperor Dragon? Will it be a Black Cluster Soldier? Will it be Dark Magician of Chaos? Let's go. Chaos Necromancer. Special Collapse. Lord Poison. Cannonball Spirit Shellfish. Soul Tigre. Yellow Luster Shield. The Stray Lambs. And the Gigantis. Ah, Gigantis. Okay. That's fine. More to come. We're going to get something good. All right. This one has been peeking at me the whole time. Chaos Box. Chaos box, the new mystery boxes that have had some pretty amazing stuff inside. Only five total packs inside, but are they good? Ooh, a dark crisis pack. All right, last time we were getting spell ruler, I think, when I opened these from my local Walmart. So let's see what we can get a dark crisis skill drain. I mean, we recently pulled the ultimate rare skill drain three times out of OTS. So go check that video out. That was pretty cool. Let's see if we can pull the regular rare, the original print. Ojama Green, Fairy of the Spring, Frozen Soul, Acrobat Monkey. Dark Scorpion combination is not going to be the skill drain, but it will be a Berserk Dragon. Okay, that's pretty cool. A nice super rare. I once pulled this in first edition. My first time opening first edition Dark Crisis, I opened one pack and I got a Berserk Dragon. One of my earliest opening videos on the channel. You guys can go check that out if you want. Very old Ruxin, no face cam. Well, I wasn't old. I was technically younger, but you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right, next pack. That's a good start at this mystery box. We have this feels like... Oh, Duelist Alliance. That's not what it felt like. I thought it was a Mega Pack at first. Okay, I think the Mega Pack must have been on top of it. Duelist Alliance could get a Ghost Rare. I still need the Ghost Rare and Unlimited from this set. Also first edition, I think. Curse of the Shadow Prison. Poor Pal Hip Hippo. Despot 001. Performer Pal Swordfish. Hippo Carnival. Chain to Spell. Recover. Performer Pal Whip Snake. An Artifact Shock Ram. All right, nothing out of the Due. Du I've never actually pulled anything good out of this set, it feels like. All right, this is the Mega Pack. Mega Pack 2018. Okay, I don't think that's too good of a one. The 2015 one was, was more exciting, I think. Go, 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 Aristera Dexia. Striping Partner. Magnite Green Horizon. DD Seeker. Gogi Headbat. We got the Air Cracking Crap. Oh, we messed it up. Dragonic Diagram. This is a good pack. All right, Trickstar Licorice and Dragonic Diagram with the World Legacy Seeker. Dra Dragonic Diagram was really good for a long time. We got a Lily Bell, the uh, Yoku Zuna Sumo Spirit. Okay. Munia Maiden. Whoa, those, that is some creepy maidens. The Flick Clown, iconic for being a little bit sketch on that name. We got the Ruined Queen of Oblivion. Whoa, why is that in here? Weird. Parthian Shot and the Amazonas Pet Liger. Okay, cool pack. All right, what? One more pack or two more packs? Two more packs, I think. We have... Oh, it's the first edition Stardust Overdrive pack. This is what I've seen people getting. These are very rare packs because they did not make a booster box in North America for this set. It was only available in Europe. So getting first edition packs is pretty rare. And this Ghost Rare is crazy valuable. Plus like stuff like Archlord Christia. You've got the uh, Guardian Iatos in here. This is a very big pack. This is what I was hoping for when we opened it. I saw someone send me a picture. They actually pulled the Archlord Christia, which is like a $1,000 rock card. So if we could get something like that, I mean, down if there's a ghost rare in here that'd be crazy any foil though we're gonna be happy this set has a lot of like valuable super rares as well so if we could pull something like that it'd be awesome Whew, molting escape the time passage ground spider dark spider gemini spark gemini counter so many gemini's in the set spiritual forest 
the Rinyan Lightsworn Rogue, and a Bending Destiny. So we did get a dud out of our first edition, but that is an amazing pack to get. Really, really awesome to get that. That's pretty sick. I'm hyped about that. Imagine somebody will get a Ghost Rider. I figure that's at, at some point somebody's going to get a Ghost, right? Okay, Breakers of Shadow. Pretty cool. Not a bad set to end it on. Let's go. We've got a Destruction Sword Flash, Wizard Buster Destruction Sword, Blackwing Harmaton the Dust, Twilight Ninja Nickerin. We've got the Guiding Arene. I don't know. Man, these are some long names. Dino Mist Lapras. Very cool. And then the Dynamic Power Lord. And speaking of Lapras, we have been streaming a lot on Twitch every day of the week. In fact, well, not of the week, but of the weekday. So go check it out. Five days a week we've been streaming on Twitch. Some of it's been Pokemon. So go check it out. If you guys want to see that, it's been a lot of fun. All right. Next thing we have is, what is this? Oh, Instagram, Kobe underscore TM. Please tell the most amazing mother in the Shadow Realm. Kobe loves you, Teresa. He's shouting out his son. He's shouting out his mother. You love to see it, Kobe. All right, so he sent us a battle of chaos. Very cool. And then what? What is this? Is this a Mystery Gems? It's a Mystery Gems. I bet he opened a Mystery Gems to get that. And then he's got a card here. Oh, Solemn Warning, well used. That Solemn Warning has seen a lot of negations in its day. Very, very cool card. You'll love to see that. Let's open this Battles of Chaos. Let's see if we can get that Dark Magician or a Starlight Rare. I would take either of those. Let's go. Can this mystery box provide us with something insane? We have Leaf Place Palace. We got the Ghost Trick Shot. You Adore a Fate. Darton, the Mechanical Monstrosity. Dinomorphia Reversion and Dinomorphia Shell. Okay. Nothing too crazy there, but pretty awesome. All right, we have more cards. They're just loose cards in here. So let's see what these are. This looks like maximum gold bulk. <laughs> All right, Lingarillo. We got Fusionist, first edition. That's actually pretty sick. Millennium Seer, Summon Skull. That's pretty sick. Striker Dragon was pretty good for a while. Dark Lord Morningstar. Yeah, a lot of maximum gold stuff. Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. Very nice. The JMP Red Eyes. That's a cool card. We've got the, this is from the deck. This is the, from the, uh, I guess, not Secret Beast, the God card deck. There we go. I was trying to say Secret Beast. Teardrop of the Rika. We got Mud Dragon. Mud End, not Mud Dragon. Mardell, uh, Primel, the Dark Lord, Ekthel, Double Fin, Warrior Returning Alive. Very cool, very cool. Oh, Malicious. Very good card there. All right, and we have more single cards. Let's see what this is. We have a Stone Dragon from McDonald's pack, too. That's pretty cool. The Karibar, Kribo Reborn, the Karibi, the Detonate, the Hyozanru. The Magic Rebo times two, Conquistador. Lots of gold. Soul Eating Over Raptor for our Dino decks. Love to see that. Patch of Cephalo, very good card. Sky Striker Ace Rose, Banisher of the Light. Backup Secretary, another UTC, or UCT, I should say. Infernity Mirage, Pragdical, funny name. We've got a Karibu, B, Fluffle Penguin, Fluffle Tiger, UFO Turtle, Destiny Draw, Pot of Extravagance, very good card. The Colt Wing, the Red Eyes Dice, Flame Bufferlo, and the Blair Barrier Statue of the Inferno. I hate Barrier Statues. They're the worst. All right, here it is. Fortnite TCG and Pokemon. Wait, is this one open? Okay, this Pokemon is, is opened. Okay, so let's see what was inside. Uh, there is a code card, so I guess you guys can have that. Is that a code card? No, maybe not. There's just three cards inside. Okay, interesting. Then we have a Fortnite pack. So all you guys have been playing Fortnite still. I played a little bit actually recently. It's been pretty good, but uh, I don't never open the cards before. These look kind of wild. Okay, uh, I don't really... <laughs> I don't really understand like what is good in for in the Fortnite cards. Not gonna lie, these Fortnite cards, I love Fortnite. These are not very appealing, to be honest. I guess they have numbers on them. They just seem kind of cheap. I don't know. They're just like a piece of cardboard, which is that what every card is, but there's nothing really going on here. You know what I mean? No background, no shine. I don't know how I feel about Fortnite cards. All right, let's get back to the real stuff. Uglio, Maximum Gold, El Dorado. Let's see what we got. Four packs of Maximum Gold, El Gold, El Dorado. We have. Weather, Elemental Hero Neos, Elixir, and oh, the Soul Eating Over Raptor. Giant Rex, we have like half a Dino deck at this point from all of our openings. Dino's got a lot of reprints in here. We got the Micro Coder with Weather Painter Rainbow. I think the Painter's actually, or the Weather Painter's has gone up. Cypher Gear Gamma, very nice. Or should I say Weather Painter's? Is that what their archetype is? I thought it was something else. I don't know. Maybe that is it. There's a ding right there, but the Ice Key Mascarena alt art is very nice. We have the Fire Formation 10 key. Those are good. Okay, a couple good pulls, especially that Mascarena. And the final pack here of gold. I think this is the last gold. Maybe not. We got the Eva, Asa, Weather, the Weather Painter Snow. Okay, and the Torrential Tribute. Very nice. Very nice. And a number 81 Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon. Everyone smash that like button. Just a friendly reminder from Kobe. Very nice. Oh, and check this out. What is this? Is this from the 20th anniversary? Is this from the, the briefcase? There's so many layers of protection. Oh, wait, it's a side sleeve. That's pretty tough. 
Whoa, check this out. I think this is from the briefcase. That is super cool. Check this. Well, it's like metal. So maybe are they metal on the briefcase? Wow, that's super solid. I love that. That's super cool. Beautiful card. Blue eyes, white dragon. That looks absolutely amazing. Let's put that back there. I haven't opened one of these in a while, actually. We got a few packs. These are going to be coming out in 2022 soon, actually. Megaton 2021. Some pretty good cards in here. Let's see if we can pull them. Hopefully next year has... Does it have Prospin in it? Have they announced that yet? I hope it does because that card's really expensive. Jabbing Panda. We got the Warning Point. We got the Virtual World Lao Lao. The Rising Beast Barbaros and the Grave Duker Trap Hole. Very nice. Some nice foil cards there. Two more packs. Let's get... Uh, what was the big card in here again? Oh, Cross Out Designator. And then uh, it kind of fell off, but it's still a pretty good card, I think. Red the Infernoble. It's being used a little bit. We've got the Virtual World Nyan Nyan, the opening of the Spirit Gates, and the Virtual World Kieran Lili. All right, all right. Very nice. One more pack. Can we get that Cross Out Designator? That Triple Tactics Talents. That was another one that was in here as an ultra rare. Let's see what we can get. Art Jet, Tie Strike, Gluttonous, Red O'Dolphin. A Shadal Schism, very good card. Chaos Ruler, that's another good card. And the Peekery at Ignister, very nice with the Adamant Spader Friends, one of the worst Seeker Rares out of the best set ever. <laughs> All right, a couple more things we have. Okay, here we have uh, some more single cards. Let's see what they are. We have Samsara Dragon, DD Swirl Slime, number seven Dragoobleon, that's a good card. The Despian Tragedy, we got Cupid Pitch, Despot 001, Despot 001, which we just pulled out of the original common printing earlier. Galaxy Soldier, nice track black, and uh, Heat Soul. Very, very cool. We got a couple Pokemon packs. Don't worry. There's still some Yu-Gi-Oh! to end it off with. We're not going to end off with Pokemon. Don't you worry. There is, I think, the Rainbow Mew in here, which would be pretty cool. I mean, I'd be down to pull that. I don't really know anything. Ah, oh, it's very loud. About the new uh, Pokemon sets, to be honest, recently. I have not kept up with them. There you go. There's your uh, code card. We got a Meowth. Cutle. We got the Shroomish. The Smeargle. And the Chloe Steer. We got a uh, Leaf Energy Simis here. Farewell, Bell. And the Lenune. I will say, they, these packs are just satisfying to open. I don't know why. Okay, I just messed that up as soon as I said that. But we got to redeem your, your cards. Okay, and there you go. There's another one. We got a Grubbin. We got a Rotom. We got a Smeargle. Carvana. We got the Clamperl. Shelmet and the Latios. Very cool. The Energy Schoolboy, Primeape, and Zerug. And finally, we have one more mystery box. And yes, it's the clutch one that we got the sleeves out of. You love to see these. Let's see what we can get inside. Can we get another legacy pack? We have the sleeves, of course. Then we have Invasion of Chaos and Judgment of the Light. Let's go! Let's see if we can pull the Chicolates. Let's end it off on a, on a high note, guys. Let's get Chicolates. What shall we pull here? One, two, three. Let's get the Ghost or Star Eater and a Chicolates. Let's get a win-win. Kujikajiku, Jikajiku, Jikajiku. Bujim Vadolphin. Intercept Tomato, Kujikaju. I kind of like that. That could be a song as well. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Kieran. And HCS Saimu. That's actually a foil, okay? The atmosphere. So uh, no Chicolates, unfortunately. But we did get a super rare, which is not guaranteed. And finally, Invasion of Chaos. Let's do this. Let's get something amazing. We've already pulled the amazing cards before, but it will never get old pulling these epic secret rares and ultra rares. Tarir to Fish, Crimson Ninja, Tower of Babel. We can also mention Dimension Fusion. Very good card. Smashing Ground. We don't really bring that one up all the time, but it's very expensive. Giga Gagagigo, Boganian, Compulsory Evacuation Device, and an Amphibious Bugroth, MK3. I feel like we've ended videos on this multiple times. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Choke, Clayton Fitzgerald 87, Brett Palm, Puffins Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Stanley Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, John Nolan, Anunatai Show, and Tom McLean. Thank you guys for supporting this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.